Today, the country has over 9.5 million inhabitants, and the consumption of water per day per resident is more than 500 litres, around 60% more than in France. City infrastructure is water guzzling. Hundreds of skyscrapers are all equipped to combat the heat, which can rise to 50 degrees Celsius. This high demand in water has all but exhausted the water tables. So, in an attempt to preserve these natural reserves, the country turned to seawater desalination, a costly, energy-intensive solution that uses fossil fuels, leading to carbon being released into the air. Aware that this form of drinking water production wasn't sustainable, the authorities found a surprising solution, cloud seeding. This is the Meteorology Center in Abu Dhabi. Every morning, engineers observe the sky, looking for clouds they can induce to rain. We can see a northwesterly flow. The uh, wind speed over uh, the Arabian Gulf uh, reaches 25 knots. Yeah, actually, the idea is coming because we are kind of rare of rain droplets. So our target is to have much as much rain we can help to, to secure the water resource, because the water resource is one of the important role in life, and generally. That's the idea of the cloud seeding, actually. So these flares as are combined with, unless we call it salt, because the salt is really a good absorber of the humidity. Even as an experimental, you can just put the salt outside. You're going to see it's like become a really tough piece of salt, you know? That's the idea. So what we do, we target the updraft through the aircraft, we fly the aircraft and we start burning the flares where the updraft is located because the updraft, what's going to happen, is going to suck all the material inside the cloud. It's going to mix with the clouds. So the small rain droplets is going to be really big rain droplets and it's going to fall to the ground. That's the idea and that's how the concept of cloud seeding and how what we do in a cloud seeding generally. The goal of these meteorologists is to make rain fall on command. They scour the sky for any sign of clouds to target. In the air, planes are already operational and awaiting engineers' instructions. Actually, we do have right now aircraft. It's in the east side of UAE, because if you look at this area, there is some cloud over here. So what's happening, the cloud is moving this way. So we are trying to fly this area to make sure that we study the area and we know what type of cloud over there, and we can benefit and seed it for us. Zero six suppression. Uh, please, Captain, uh, take this uh, new location, uh, 02567 nautical mile. OK, when you reach there, please uh, burn four flares, please. Four flares. I'm managing myself. I've already burned uh, a... OK, Captain, take your time and manage yourself. In the air, these flares disperse salt crystals into the heart of the clouds to chemically force them to rain. This process, which aims to manipulate the climate, has divided the scientific community, as its impact on man and the environment is still unknown. Each year, in the United Arab Emirates, 120 cloud seeding operations are launched. According to official figures, this program costs 60 times less than seawater desalination and boosts precipitation levels by 20%. But this is a country hit hard by the climate crisis. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the region's temperatures will increase by 2 degrees Celsius by 2040. Faced with this climate emergency, the Emirates are looking for a greener future, less dependent on fossil fuels. This new policy has spawned new projects like Mazdar City. Currently under construction, this city, which should be home to 50,000 by 2030, wants to set an example in bioclimatic architecture. The streets are narrow to channel the hot air from the desert. The facades of the buildings filter the heat, but not the light. 
and gigantic traditional towers produce fresh air. This city of the future will produce its own energy thanks to the sun.